Saturday is the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Where, where do you, as a guy in football back then, what do you remember about that day 20 years ago? Uh, I remember coming home from class, uh, afternoon practice back then, just about everyone did. And I remember turning the TV on and seeing well, we didn't know what was happening yet, but we saw a major catastrophe. We saw, obviously, fire, and we saw reports coming out. And then as things began to become more clear, um, you know, it was a, obviously a dark day for our country. And um, great respect for the, the people in the, the police department, the fire department, the first responders, people in the military, the guys that went in and, and had to clean up the, the disaster that went on and, and saved a lot of lives and lost some on their own. Um, so that, that always will be burned into my brain. Um, another thing, you know, I remember we went to the, the, the football complex and, you know, we didn't know what was going to go on and then you have to keep practicing and then as it became more clear, that game got canceled, postponed, I can't remember exactly, but we did not play that week. I think there was only a handful of games that got played that week um, in wake of 9-11, of but, uh, you know, I think that's something that's always going to be burned in my memory. Uh, anytime you go through a, you know, a, an act of terrorism or a natural disaster in your own country, um, some of those things I learned about in history, but I wasn't there, so I just know about them. That one you experience firsthand through television. Obviously, I wasn't there, but um, you experience it firsthand, and you'll you'll never forget. You'll never forget that day. You'll never forget what happened, and you, like I said, you'll never forget the people that had to go into that disaster and risk their own lives. Some of them lost theirs to help help the country regain, you know, what freedom we have.